live along Boulder Creek this morning, all eyes on waterways like this as we get ready for what should be a pretty serious snowmelt season. You can see the water flowing quickly now. Boulder and other canyon towns are trying to do whatever they can to try and get ready and beat the flow because they know there's a lot of uncertainty this year. In fact, here's the scene last week along the same section of Boulder Creek on the 22nd last Tuesday. Both the city and the county trying to make sure people understand there are dangers potentially below the water. So what they're doing is they're trying to dredge these areas. In fact, they had believed that this section of Boulder Creek would be closed to swimmers and kayakers for 60 days, but it's now actually open from where we are, Broadway West. Still closed, though, from this spot going east to the 75th and J Road areas. They're dredging up debris left behind from the floods in September. Trees, steel, other things, and hope to be 85% finished by the end of the week. Now, our partners at the Daily Camera reporting that right now, the National Weather Service ranks this as one of the highest snowpacks in the past 35 years, with some areas at 150, even 250 percent of average. That has to be added to the water storage levels already at 89 percent of average, meaning there really isn't anywhere for this water to go but downhill. And that's why they're encouraging folks who live along these waterways to pay attention to what you see and what you hear. If you see a dramatic drop in the water level, that could mean a blockage upstream, and they'd want to know about it right now. Live in Boulder, Tyler Lopez, 7 News Now.